All right, good evening, everyone. I hope you are all doing well in your home. We are excited to welcome you to the 2020-21 Academic Awards Ceremony. And we are virtual this year again, but we are hoping this is the last time we do a virtual awards ceremony. We're gonna all be back in person next year. So we're excited to get started and we're gonna start with Mrs. Holder. So Mrs. Holder, your principal is coming to talk to you. Hello, everybody. It is so good to see so many people who have come to hear about our awards tonight. We are excited about recognizing some of our scholars for their great achievements. And I get the privilege of starting off with announcing our principal's awards. So I'm going to say this. I will speak for myself and I think Mrs. Smith, too, to tell you that I'm going to do the very best job on your names, but sometimes it gets a little difficult on last names, especially. So if I mispronounce your last name, I'm so sorry. And tomorrow you can tell me about it at school and I promise I will work on it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with our first grade scholars. Leah Berrios, Mariah Clymer, Lichi Ezifula, Aiden Flores, Malachi Flores, Nestor Franco Jr., Caleb Hernandez, Genesis Herrera, Winston Manava, Elena Martin, Glenna Martin, Matthew Martinez, Yorcelli Palafox, Emma Pena, Giselle Sinisuri, Edric Smith Jr., Eric Stevens, Kiara Tompkins, and Joshua Vasquez. Let's give a round of applause to our first grade scholars who received the principal award. Bob oh, scholars. And now we're gonna move on to our second grade scholars. <clears throat> we'll start with Gabriel Alvarado, Maylee Brigman, Valeria Calderon, Sophia Cruz, Francisco Fiora, Marcus Galvin, Lillian Helms, Avery Harper Hill, Kaylin Kennedy, Joseph Manter, Emery Medina, Gabriel Mercada, Giselle Morales, Isaac Najaru, Olivia Orr, Alexander Patricio, Evelyn Ramirez. Why did she say that? I think, I think that I'm going to pronounce this right. You can tell me tomorrow if I do not, but I think it's Ikika Reese, Matteo Silva, Luke Stokes, and Skylar Walker. Congratulations, second grade scholars. And now for our third grade principal award winners, Foster Reed Macy, Anna Rodriguez, Nathan Blandon, Elise Brockway, Elliot Berkey, Samuel Chambia, Colton Champion, Camilla Ramirez, Maria Coronada, Zoe Enriquez, Jillian Lewis, Kinsley Lloyd, Zachary Locke, Holden Lynn, Amelia Martin, Coden Micah, Sophia Malark, Ian Neufeld, Matthew Alade, Jonathan Pena, Dahlia Reese, Sebastian Rios, Austin Smith, Noah Stewart, Armani Vasquez, Asher Vogel, and Ben Watkins. Congratulations, third graders, on this special award. And now I'm going to turn it back over to Ms. Smith, and she has some awards to announce. Okay, we're going to talk about our superintendent's list award winners, but before we do that, a couple of things. 
We usually um, honor our perfect attendance students at this uh, ceremony, but because of the strangeness of this year with virtual learning and in-person learning, we will not be doing perfect attendance awards this year. We'll be back to that next year when we're all in person. Also, the awards that Mrs. Holder just announced were the principal's list, and that was for every student who maintained a 90 to 94 percent in their classroom for their four core subjects. So I am going to announce our superintendent's list award winners, and these students have maintained a 95 to 100 percent average in their English, reading, ELA, uh, math, history and social studies classes. So are you ready? It's first grade. So our first grade superintendents winners, Luis Escoveda, Iomidi Adekunle, Abigail Aguilar, Angel Becerra, Violet Bowen, Ellie Brinkerhoff, Benjamin Bryan, Audrey Berkey, Avery Campbell, Jesse Christopher, Rafaela de Camargo, Miriam Coronado, Harper Edmerson, Tessa Enriquez, Micah Foster, Uriah Foster, Jacob Garcia, Galen Gilstrap, Lydia Grace, Noah Griffith, Anaya Pines, Naomi Perez, Emily Knight, Eli Lopez, Emily Luta, Bethany Martinez, Gary McMillan, Jace Miles, Isabella O'Brien, Bethany Rivas, Luisa Rodriguez, Nathan Rodriguez, Benjamin Rodriguez Gomez, Adam Slider, Jeremiah Sobande, Nicholas Stewart, Kaysen Thornhill, Josiah Todd, Sienna Walker, Savannah Woolley, and Sierra Woolley. That's a lot of first graders. Congratulations to our first graders. Okay, second grade for our superintendent's list. Lydia Artiaga, Paulo Portugal, Vanya Batista, Lilia Bell, Elizabeth Bruce, Denzel Esbrand, Eric Espinoza, Lola Finger, Anne George, Sophia Gonzalez, Benjamin Hardy, Eli Harrison, Mary Catherine Jesperson, Cameron Law, Grayson Mates, Amelia Molina, Tegan Norton, Evangeline Onchoa, no, I'm sure I mispronounced that, Oncia, I think that's correct, Jax Prince, Yay, Jack. Riel, Sarah Rodriguez Gomez, Yay. Alan Ruiz, Alyssa Santos, Samuel Sines, Celine Tron, Grace Viela, or Viala, Carter Woodruff. Congratulations to our second grade superintendents list Yay. winners. <laughs> third grade, third grade winners, Anderson Bryan, Emma Dennis, Tabitha George, Lily Langley, Ethan Lopez, Luke Martinez, and Kylie Salazar. Congratulations to third grade superintendents award winners. Mrs. Holder is going to come back and present some character awards. Thank you, Ms. Smith. And as I sat down, I had realized that I forgot to give the criteria for the principal's award. So I'm so glad Ms. Smith 
let you know about that because that's important information. Another special award that we have tonight is our character awards. All of our awards are special, but this one is a little bit different. If you receive this award, it is chosen by your teachers for exemplifying work ethic and excellence in the classrooms. And we actually have four boys and four girls from each grade level that will receive this honor tonight. So I will start with our first grade scholars. Listen up. Sienna Walker. Nick Stewart, Naomi Jerez, Ayomidi Adakunle, Everly Garrett, Eli Lopez, Bethany Rivas, and Nathan Rodriguez. Congratulations to our first grade character award winners. I know you can see me guys, but we see what we see of you are these little squares with children and parents and people in them. <laughs> so if, if I call your name, give me a little woohoo so I can see that you heard your name being called and, and you're celebrating, okay? All right, here we go with second grade. Alyssa Santos, Mateo Silva, Mary Kate Jesperson, Alan Ruiz, Nazarene Gonzo, Grayson Mates, Kaylin Kennedy, and Isaac Giraru. Those are our second grade character winners. I see you clapping for each other. That's so kind. Thank you. And finally, our third grade character award winners are Amelia Martin. Dahlia Reyes Oden, Lydia Mejia, Cami Cordero Rom Ramirez, Noah, Noah Stewart, Asher Vogel, Holden Lynn, and Anderson Bryan. Congratulations, third grade character award winners. Awesome job. Now, Mrs. Smith has some very special awards to give out that we haven't done before. So this is a new award and she's gonna tell you about it right now. Some of you may not know, but this year our school is nine years old. And up to this point, we have not really recognized our faculty and staff for years of service. So we decided that this was a good year to begin that. So tonight, we're going to be awarding um, a trophy that looks like this and also a small check to each faculty member who has served our school for either five, six, seven, eight, or nine years. So I'm going to read those off to you tonight by the years that they have served. And if you know them, any of these people, clap really loud for them, okay? So our five year service award goes to these faculty and staff members, Joyce Coulter, Joni Holder, know her, Carolyn Ignatz, Sari Romero, Mary Bloyd, Shannon Brown, Connie Hall, Rhonda Johnson, Amy Reese, Tari Valdez, Amy Grubaugh, and Elizabeth Livingstone. So congratulations for our five-year service award winners tonight. These are faculty and staff members that have been here for six years. Tommy Stallard, Beth Mannix, Candace Smith, Jana Malky, Kendra Cordero, and Kayla Smith. That's me. <laughs> Yay! And our seven year award winners, JG Melton, Valerie Warnicke, Nancy Cowan, Susie Brommers, Amanda Appel, Sandra Kraft, Jordan Trubit, James Foster, Ginger Stafford, and Kim Sanford. Congratulations to our seven years of service. Okay, 
those that have been here for eight years, Tori Fowler, Susan Walton, Celeste Sarpolis, Phyllis Lau, Joanna Brinkerhoff, and Rhonda Standard. I can't wait to Congratulations for eight years of service. Oh. You're doing, guess what? They have to do And finally, nine years. These people have been here since the very first year that the school opened. And they are Susanna Kelly, Heather Bargett, Calvin Trim, Tanya Horton, Chrissy Dallas, Katie Shaw, and Todd Ignant. So congratulations to our nine-year service award winners. Go, Miss Dallas! Yes, go, Miss Bargett. That's a lot of faculty and staff that have been with us from five to nine years. We're really excited about that, and we just want to thank them for their service to our school. All right, Mrs. Holder's gonna be this coming back. Thank you, Ms. Smith, that's exciting. I have a special award now that I'd like to give. And this award is called our Honor Eagle Award. And this award is given to the student that's chosen from all of our Ring of Honor winners for the year. So you know how we every month we have a ring of honor winner and we have a ceremony and we haven't gotten to do them all in person this year, but we have had a ceremony each time. And it's very exciting to find out who's going to get the ring of honor each month. Well, tonight we have chosen one of those previous winners to be our honor eagle winner. And they will get this beautiful eagle trophy that you can see. And of course, everyone will be getting certificates. We didn't mention that, but you will all be getting your certificates. Those of you that are in person, we'll get those to you this week. And those of you that are, are online learners, we'll get those to you as well. So don't worry, we have them here for you. Okay, let me read a little bit about our Honor, <laughs> Honor Eagle winner. All right, we have been so fortunate to have this scholar in our grade this year. She gives her very best every day. Each time I begin to grade her paper, it makes me so very happy. Her work is extremely neat, organized, and she's followed every one of the directions that I've given this year. Every day she's engaged with the lesson and sets a great example for the other scholars in her class. She shows so much respect and kindness to her teachers and fellow classmates. Anytime she's asked to do something, she does it willingly and works hard to make sure she completes all the tasks. She always says thank you whenever given anything, including the daily hand sanitizer. She exemplifies what it is to be an outstanding UME scholar. And this award goes to Amira Valderez. And now Mrs. Smith is going to come up and recognize our Faculty Honor Eagle Award. Okay, we are going to honor one faculty member for our whole district tonight. It's called the Honor Eagle Award. I'm sorry, for your campus, not the whole district, just for your campus. So this award, just as Mrs. Holder explained, goes to one of the recipients of the Ring of Honor Award this year. And we had to choose just one person, so that was tricky. But this is what was shared about the winner. Let me read this to you and see if you can figure out who wins. The staff member, this staff member is a true rep representation. Let me start over. This staff member is a true representation of the word selfless. She is generous with her gifted teaching and knowledge. She gives of her time and she constantly has a kind, loving, warm smile on her face. She is always willing to give an extra set of eyes or hands, and she is available for advice on students who are struggling. She goes the extra mile by even researching and printing information to help other teachers. This nominee experienced a flood in her classroom recently. That was several of you, right? Even though she had her own room to clean and pack up, she asked other teachers who had flooded rooms what she could do to help. She puts others above herself on a regular basis. This teacher has a kind spirit and does an amazing job with her scholars. She has a positive attitude 
and is a team player. She is truly a light at UME. And the Honor Eagle Award goes to Mrs. Lori Locke. Woo! Congratulations to Mrs. Locke. So she will get this beautiful trophy and a $250 check. That's not bad. All right, um, Mrs. Holder has some closing comments for us. Thank you, Ms. Smith. Congratulations, Mrs. Locke. I don't know if you guys know Mrs. Locke, but she is one of the treasures at UMA. She is uh, such a fantastic teacher. She loves her scholars and we're so proud that she is part of our family. Okay, last year at this awards assembly, um, it was the very beginning of our COVID situation and we didn't know where we were going or how we were gonna get there. And I actually wrote a poem and read it to you and Miss Smith and I cried throughout the whole thing. And so this time <laughs> I've tried not to be quite so sentimental, although I still have a lot of the same feelings that I was feeling at the end of last year, um, a feeling of accomplishment, a feeling of making it through some really difficult times. But I've written down a few of my thoughts and I just want to share them with you. It will only take me a minute. I wanted to close by summarizing the trials and victories from 2020-21. It was the best of years. It was the worst of years. As you have all experienced it with us, this year had lots of challenges. We were all pushed to go above and beyond in this uncharted territory, territory that we had not seen before. Yes, at times we went kicking and screaming, but we went. We really had no choice. We all had one goal in mind, and that was to do what was best for our scholars, your children, which meant keeping them safe without compromising their education. To say this was a challenge is an understatement. You know, because you were there with us, listening to us, questioning us, but always supporting us. With every challenge, Ms. Smith and I have talked about this, and I know you've probably talked about this at home, there has been a blessing. I'm gonna read some of our challenges and our blessings that matched. Challenge, the kindergarten wing flooded, displacing our kindergarten teachers. Blessing, the kindergarten teachers did a miss a beat. With their positive attitudes, they inspired us all to keep moving forward in spite of adversity. Challenge, we all wore masks. We know that's true, don't we? Blessing, we've learned to appreciate fresh air and freedom. Challenge, teachers taught scholars in person and online. Blessing, teachers will never take for granted the joy of having all of their students together in one room again. Challenge, staying six feet apart. Blessing, knowing that it was not forever and visible smiles and hugs will return. Challenge, the snowmageddon led to busted pipes which flooded our first floor. Blessing, we will get all new floors, mended walls, new bathrooms, and fresh paint. It's like a whole new school. Challenge. The kindergarten teachers were displaced for yet a second time in one year. Blessing. The rest of the faculty wouldn't dream of complaining. They would simply say, at least I'm not a kindergarten teacher. And that kept us all going because we knew that we were not in the worst situation. Okay, all this to say two things, guys. It's true that every cloud does have a silver lining, and I have no doubt that our faculty and staff will cling to those linings as we move forward into the next year. We will be stronger than ever when we start the 2021-22 school year. We will appreciate normal and never take for granted the things that we once felt entitled to. We've learned from our challenges and we won't forget them, but we will also not dwell on them. It is time to move on and look to the wonderful future that 2021-22 has waiting for us. As a faculty and staff, I want you all to know that we are excited about our bright future. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for your support, understanding, and partnership throughout these trials and adversities. We know you are right beside us all the way. Final, final challenge, Rainy Carline and COVID in 2020-21. Blessing, it's done and it's time for fun. And that's what we intend to do. From this point on, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our years. We're gonna enjoy our summer. And I wanna thank you for being here tonight. 
and wish you all the most wonderful summer ever. Parents, be sure and read your emails because there will be a few last minute things that will come out and you're gonna wanna know what's going on. And one more thing, Ms. Smith, I forgot to say this. I actually forgot to bring my paper. I do wanna just get a plug in for our book drive. If you didn't read the email about the book drive that we're having on the elementary campus, all you have to do is check out the email that was sent to you by myself and Mrs. George. There's a link there, there's a video. Be sure to watch the video because it tells you what to do. You can go to Amazon, purchase books. You get to dedicate them in your child's name, maybe even write them a sweet message. And we will get those books, put the book plates in the books and put them in our library for next year. So be sure and participate in that activity if you get a chance. Okay, everybody, good night. And Ms. Smith has a few closing remarks. Okay. Oh. Mrs. Holter doesn't know that we have a few more days of school, so we're not really done. And I hate to burst your bubble, but we have a few more days. So I know you're gonna finish strong and I appreciate that. Parents, we appreciate you so much. It has been a challenging year, but a really good year. So you guys have a great end of your school year and a really fun summer. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye guys. Bye. 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 B